What's happening, guys? We're back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. It's been a little while, a week or two, right, since we had a Quick Tip Tuesday. So today we got a cool tip for you that's going to kind of help out with your editing and make sure you don't trim clips that you might not want to trim. So let's head on over into Resolve and check it out. So I'm sure we've all had this happen before. You're in here, you're trying to edit up your video, and let's say I don't want my audio tracks to get cut, but I'm in here and I'm editing my video and I'm making cuts, and then maybe I'm deleting something, and oh man, there goes uh, part of my uh, audio clip there down the bottom. I didn't want that to happen. Well, if you come over here, let's undo this real quick. If you come on over here, you've got this guy right here, this little icon, it's called Auto Track Selector. And if you go ahead and turn that off, any track that has that turned off, will not get cut while you're making cuts to your video or anything else. So if this auto track selector is turned on, it's going to go ahead and cut your clips. However, you turn it off and it doesn't cut your clips. Because if I come in here and let's say I just turn off all these guys and then, uh, you know, I come in and want to cut a little bit of a video here. Let's, uh, you know, control B or come over here. Uh, maybe I want to take this part of the video out. I can click on it you know, ripple delete there, it slides everything over. Uh, same here, I'm gonna cut, you know, cut, and then uh, let's say ripple delete out this middle here. Well, look down here on my audio tracks, nothing got cut, it's all still the same. Play through, no problem, nothing got cut or deleted. Perfect, works out great, right? So you notice you have this little icon on both audio and video tracks, so you can turn it on and off in either spot. Now, why would I wanna use the auto track selector instead of just locking the track? Well, if I lock the track, I, can, I can't come in here and do anything with it. You know, open the inspector, can't change anything. Maybe I want to adjust the volume or something. Can't do it, right? Maybe you want to throw an effect on here. Can't do it if the track is locked. However, if you have your auto track selector turned off, you can still come here. You can still edit your clip. You can make it louder, quieter. You can, you know, add effects or do anything you want to the track. It's just not going to get trimmed or cut while you're editing your video or other parts of your audio that you might be cutting and removing and that kind of stuff that's it guys super quick tip here on this quick tip tuesday if you want to see more quick tip tuesdays try clicking up over here or uh maybe youtube will recommend something down there you can check that out too but if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video peace by the way if you haven't checked out my new crash course for davinci resolve 17 go check that out that's pretty good